below is the required fields and in this video I'm going to do an album review. The album I'm going to be reviewing today is Gruesome Twisted Prayers. I love this release. It's a uh, the newest release from Gruesome. It came out uh, earlier this month, um, June 1st, 2018. And um, when this release was announced I was stoked for it because I love what Gruesome have done so far. And this is their um, second full length release and they put out, uh, they started out with Savage Land in 2015. Then the following year they put out an EP called Dimensions of Horror. There um, and uh, and then last year they put out what's called an EP, but it's technically more like a uh, single. Um, uh, fragments of Psyche. It's like one new song uh, and one cover song, a, a cover of uh, "Choke on It" by Def. And um, then there's a few demo tracks thrown as a bonus. And uh, this is their second proper full-length release, "Twisted Prayers." They're um, um, uh, uh, okay. Uh, Savage Land and Dimension of Horror are more like uh, along the lines of 80s Def. And this, this is their uh, second full length release. It's more in common with Def's first 1990 release, Spiritual Healing, than it does with the uh, 80s Def albums. And um, anyways, Inhumane is an opening track on here. And this is also the uh, track they released the uh, uh, first music video for. Um, and um, uh, awesome song and a great way to start off the album. A Waste of Life was the first track that they actually uh, leaked from the album as a bit of a lyric video a prior, uh, about a, a month or so before the album's release. Um, and uh, th that actually was the first track I heard from this and it immediately had me stoked to hear the remainder of the album. Then we have Fate, the third track on here. I mentioned Def, uh, who are, it was the best reference point for this band hands down. It's kind of weird though is that uh, Fate was also the title of Def's uh, 1992 best of compilation. I'm not so sure I'd agree with the compilation because, I mean, for a best of, it didn't even have Lack of Comprehension, which is the only track uh, Def had a, a music video for up in that point. And it didn't even include Leprosy, the title track from Leprosy on it. I mean, um, and, uh, some people said that the track listing just wasn't really the best. I mean, um, uh, for the best of compilation, but when Combat Records, Def's uh, label in the late 80s, early 90s was going under, they kind of um, uh, put uh, uh, out uh, best of compilations for uh, some of their other bands like uh, Dark Angel, Exodus, etc. Um, Fate was the name of the compilation. It's probably co uh, but uh, coincident that, it's, uh, that it also track but is, is on here when you consider that um, Def is the best reference point for here, and that uh, Fate is an awesome track, easily the best, uh, well, well, probably the best here. I mean, if repeat listens, I guess it kind of changes, but it's easily uh, one of the best uh, here, hands down. Then we have Lethal Le Legacy, which is another great track. Fatal Illusions is the uh, next track on here, and this is a track they released the second music video for, and it's also a great song. Um, uh, I mentioned uh, Lepre uh, Leprosy is uh, one of the uh, previous Def albums. I mean, uh, Savage Land was compared to Leprosy a lot uh, upon initial release. And for say, uh, while Spiritual Healing, the first 90s Def release, is the, uh, is the best reference point for this album stylistically, I hear uh, a bit of Leprosy in the main riff, and the riff to the, um, uh, uh, the, the title track from, of this, uh, uh, from the album Leprosy on the song Crusade of Brutality which is the next track here. And speaking of just Spiritual Healing, uh, uh, James Murphy, who played guitar on that al on album Spiritual Healing, uh, uh, has a, a guest guitar solo on this album. And um, uh, it, it, that's another great track on here, uh, Crusade of uh, Brutality. And then we have At Death's Door. Something worth mentioning is that that was, I believe, the first compilation to get of, of death metal that actually um, okay, uh, existed, or the first key, uh, Back in the early days of death metal, that was a, a compila uh, the name of a well-known death metal compilation. Uh, well, it did have one or two bands that are more thrash than death, but more extreme thrash, really, on it. But um, uh, anyways, the Death's Door is another great track on here. Um, and uh, that, too, also has a uh, guest guitar solo from James Murphy on it. And um, then, finally, we have the song uh, Twisted Prayers, which is the... Um, uh, which is the title track from here, another great song on here, and depending upon the version you have, the closing track, I own the CD version of this, uh, and it has the uh, Exorcist by Possessed as a bonus track on it, and, um, 
Anyways, uh, possessed, some people actually argue whether Def or Possessed is really the first uh, true uh, death metal band because um, Possessed of a song called Death Metal, um, and uh, they were definitely very influential towards, um, to, uh, towards what we uh, know as uh, death metal, hands down, um, or at least a very least a prototype for it, but uh, most people argue that Def was the first true proper death metal band, at least the one to put out a proper full-length uh, release. Um, a Little Morbid Angel actually formed back in 83, but didn't come out with an uh, uh, album until 89, so there is that. Um, and um, and um, anyways, um, yeah, so yes, the uh, uh, CD version is a, uh, The Exorcist by Possessive bonus track. Uh, Worth noting that uh, the Possessive reformed uh, a couple times, uh, have split up and reformed a couple times over the years, and in the, in the current reformed lineup is da uh, Daniel Gonzalez uh, in it, and he's actually the lead guitarist on this album, uh, where uh, uh, he also plays the current incarnation of Possessed, and um, so that could be why they included it as a bonus track here, and it's not on the uh, vinyl version of it, nor is it even on the cassette version, yep. They pressed the, uh, they actually pressed the cassette version of uh, Twisted Prayers, a, a very limited number of copies. They did the same to Savage Land as well. Um, I do own a cassette player, but I hardly own any cassettes on it. Uh, I mean, we I mean, for it to play, but um, anyways, I uh, own a CD version, and um, well, whatever. Twisted Prayers is a fantastic release, and uh, this is easily one of the. Um, uh, best albums of the year. Uh, the year's not over, but um, no way this album is not going to make my uh, favorites of the year. It's uh, been a largely great year for death metal, although there's been some other albums outside of the death metal genre that have been good too, uh, such as the new Riot 5 release. That's a, the Armor Blight. That's a fantastic release. Uh, we have Twisted Prayers here. Um, it's one of the, uh, the albums that is um, at the top of the death metal heap. Now, there's some other um, upcoming uh, death metal uh, uh, albums this year that I'm looking forward to by bands like Mass Infection, Deeds of Flesh, and um, and Disruption. And we also had uh, great releases so far this year by bands like Skeletal Remains, Cyst, and um, and um, uh, and we and, and now we have uh, this album here by Gruesome um, with uh, Twisted Prayers and um, fantastic release. Get this album. Um, anyways, um, this is Required Field uh, signing off. Uh, hope you enjoyed this review. Um, get this album, uh, uh, whatever format you can, whether it be CD, cassette, vinyl, digital, whatever, and uh, just get this album. And um, uh, anyways, this is um, Required Field signing off. And um, I was going to say though is that um, before I sign off though, I love this band so much. People even said that I street team for them on one of the message boards I post at. They call me the guys street teams for Gruesome. Well, I love Gruesome and I love this release. They really knocked it out of the park again of this one. Anyways, this is uh, finally now this is Required Field signing off and goodbye.